Let us try to understand ADO.NET connection oriented model. Whenever we use this model, then the connectivity between the application and the database has to be maintained continuously as long as the application interacts with the database. Connection oriented model can be used whenever we constantly make trips to the database to perform crude operations. This creates more traffic to the database, but is normally much faster when we perform smaller transactions. In simple non-technical terms to understand connection oriented model, it is similar to working with the standard desktop systems. If we need to work with the system, it should be connected with the power. Now let us try to understand connection oriented model architecture. Say we have an application and it has to interact with the database using connection oriented model. Then we have been provided with managed data providers. We use connection to establish the physical connectivity with the database. Command object will use connection to interact with the database and it can interact with the application for executing the commands. If the command is to retrieve the data, then the result of command object will be passed to the data reader object which will interact with the application for projecting the data. Data reader object maintains the records retrieved by the command object and this object is a read only and forward only record set. That is the data present within the data reader object can't be modified and once the data has been read from the data reader, again we cannot retrieve the previous data. Thank you.